Hello folks, this is cow 6787. This is how she's walking. This is her shore hoof. This is Tech TV. And this is how we're going to fix her. And if we've got room for one more, this is possibly why you should hit the subscribe button. Good morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over the name of Hoof Trimmer. So my first observation of this hut is that it's quite overgrown up around this area here. This is all detached hoof, which is starting to maybe separate at the heel. We'll soon find out. This claw is a lot bigger than this claw. As hoof trimmers, when we get a cow into the crush and her foot lifted, there's a lot of things goes through our head. But the main thing, and the first thing I think of, is weight distribution. So let's get this trim started and see how we can better this cow's weight distribution to make her more comfortable. There goes my tip anyway, but I'll get it back in for whenever I start to grind this foot. When we start trimming such an overgrown hoof like this, we could really expect to find anything. This could be a white line defect, a sole ulcer, or just an abscess. But the main objective in every trim is to leave the cow more comfortable than when she was coming into the crush. So all we can really see here to start with is when I've trimmed away some of this hoof here is some bruising, which is quite soft. And it's probably no wonder, because all this cow's weight was on this claw, so it's, it was under a lot more pressure than the other one, and something had to give. All we can see in this foot at the moment is just a little bit of sole bruising. And that's maybe all we will see. But I'm just going to hoof test this cow, just a pressure test to, to symbolise the weight she's putting on it when she's out of the crush, to tell her which, to t well, not to tell her because she knows, but to tell us which claw is sore and whether we need to apply a block or not. So that one's fine, no flinching, no yielding. Gently press this one. And without putting on hardly any pressure there, this cow has showed us that this is her sore claw, which we thought it was that anyway. I'm just going to investigate this heel a little bit further. Um, this is very soft, so I don't really have much more room to go. So maybe it was just bruising that was leaving this cow sore, but she did look like she was sore than just what we can see here. So we've removed the weight off all of this here, all the sharp edges and layers of detached hoof have been stripped away, the both claws is nice and level but because I have the block on here it's going to rest this claw, but up around here there's some sort of inflammation going on inside this hoof and this here is very soft and squidgy. And 
that there was probably also causing this cow to be lame. Um, but we've removed that down. All we really seen was the bruising. It is also soft here, but I'm not going to start digging holes in here unnecessarily just to go down, right down to the corium when really I'm a hoof trimmer. So I'll stick to the hoof. Hopefully with putting on this block to rest this claw, that will give this cow noticeable comfort. While I'm letting this cow out of the crush, I just wanted to say that I do read all of the comments and sorry I can't just reply to all of them, but a few, one that has been popping up a number of times has been, what does TEC stand for? Well, it's kind of an awkward video to do this in because people have also been asking where Tom is. Um, the two are linked, but Tom, I'll start with TEC. TEC is Tom's initials, Thomas Edward Crawford. So we called our hoof trimming business Tech Hoof Care, and that is where Tech TV came from. And then it's also quite, uh, this is the awkward bit. Um, Tom actually, we actually had to sack Tom. Uh, he really, he wasn't pulling his weight and uh, it wasn't easy, um, but this day was coming for him anyway. Um, I did warn him, but he didn't, he didn't listen. But um, yeah, so it's, I don't know what we're gonna call the channel now, whenever we've got rid of the tech. We can't really call it tech TV. And of course, I, I did find it hard to keep a straight face there. Tom is a little bit like this claw on this little cow here. So Tom sometimes feels like he struggles a little bit with the camera, but I always tell him he's doing a grand job, but as I say, we'll get him charged up soon, him and his GoPro, and um, we'll get him back at the video. One. That cow really is a lot more comfortable on that foot than she was before we put her into the crush. And isn't it amazing the difference that a little piece of wood in the right shape, stuck on in the right place, can bring so much comfort to a cow. We will touch base with the farmer in a couple of weeks just to make sure that that has continued to recover. Take care folks and you'll see either me or hopefully Tom in the next video. All the best, take care.